Fraction is closer to zero, <gasps> closer to two, closer to, look, can't separate them, closer to one half, or closer to one. We'll have a discussion about that. Okay. And I think Adrian remembers the word, because Adrian talked about this strategy in maths last week, so I think he remembers the word that we're using today. Do you remember what it is? What is it? Benchmarking. Benchmarking. Does anybody else know what benchmarking is? I know Adrian knows. We did talk about it a little bit last week, but does anybody else know what benchmarking means? Or what we use it for? Is that a hand up or just a stretch? Okay. Anyone know what we, we might be using benchmarking for? Okay, I'm not going to tell you just yet. We'll do the activity and then some people might think that, uh, might have a guess of what it means. Okay? okay, now that you've got your fraction in your hand, can you have a look at your fraction? And then can everyone move to where they think they should go on our number line? Oh. <laughs> Alright, Lee, what number have you got? Uh, one, two, one, and three. That's so why are you sitting over here? Tell me. Really big words. So, Tanisha, can hear you over there. So, you pretty much, you're talking to Tanisha. She's a really big voice. What have you got? Can you hear Tanisha? No, big words, you have to shout. Three and three quarters. Three and three quarters? Okay, so why are you sitting over here? Because it's over one and two. It's over two. Do you think, in a number line, the three and three quarters bit is close to two, do you think? Where do you think you'd have to stand? Show us. How far do you think it would be? Two's here, one's over there. Where do you think three and three quarters would need to be? Oh, Ryan's moving too. Does anybody else need to move? No? Yeah. So why do you guys work through over there? I'll put two in work. Like three is like a whole thing. So I'll put like a whole
So I've spun the spinner, spinner though, and I got a one. And what we're doing is we're looking who has the closest number to one. Um, so, and the person at the end with the most cards wins. So mine, I have 10 12s. If I have a 12 and so I have two um, left, so it's close to a hole. So that's, yeah, that's why I'm closer. Does anybody think they're closer to one than Liam? No. Oh, well, I know I'm closer, well, close to zero. Yeah, how do you know you're close to zero? Well, because one, well, there's one out of eight, and well, just one, if you minus one of one, it would be zero, so there wouldn't be any. Eddie, which one do you think you'd be closest to? I think I'll be closest to one because I'm almost as much as Liam's, only one twelfth away. Yep. So you're one twelfth smaller than Liam's. Yeah. Fantastic. So Liam gets all the cards for that round, does he? Mm. <laughs> Alright, so can someone spin the spinner? So, okay, flip the cards over. Let's see who's got the closest to a half. Oh. Uh, what have you got here? I got <coughs> two six. Okay. And, uh, what do you know about two six? Not sure. I have a thing. Wait. Yeah. Well, it's well from the two. You, if you add just one. It would be three six, so that's half of six. Well done. Eddie, what do you know about your number? Um, my number isn't that close to half because it's only two out of nine. And if you add another one ninth, it will be a third, so it won't be close. And Luca, what number have you got? I've got six tenths. Okay, so what number do you think yours is close to? One half. One half. Why do you think it's close to one half? Because um, one half in like this case, it's if you had ten and you want to know what one's half, well, it's five and yeah. six is closer to five. Okay, so does, so you think you're the closest to half out of our group? Does anybody disagree with Luca? Does anyone think theirs is closer to a half, or do we think Lucas is the closest? Well, my is are basically the same. What do you mean by they're basically the well, same? Because to be half of that, you have to minus one, but for mine, you'd have to plus one, so they're. You're still adding and taking away one. So you're still adding or taking away one so, part? Yeah, there's still one away from the actual like. Okay. So does it depend on how big those parts are? How can we prove which one is closest? By imagining how big those parts are. Like on a circle, ten parts of a circle and six. But the six has bigger parts, so it will need uh, more to make a half, but Lucas has 10 and it's smaller than a six pieces and it only it also only needs one so I think he'll be more closest. Okay. If that's a little bit tricky to visualize for some people, what's something we could do to help us? Do you think we could have a go at drawing it? Maybe we can get some paper and we can draw Luca's and Dean's fraction to prove which one actually is close to a half. Yeah, now I'm thinking. Now you're thinking? Okay, how about we'll get some paper? I've just drawn these two diagrams of six tenths and two sixths. So I'll, now, I'm now going to show you the differences. So Eddie, which one's closer to a half? Well, six tenths is closer because it's one away and this still needs about one and a quarter maybe. 
So, yeah. Okay, so we've proved that six tenths was definitely closer to one half for that round. Yeah.